Hey, it's Drybear. We've entered into March, which means we have a brand new set of offerings for the trading post in Dragonflight and a refresh for the Traveler's Log, your way to get extra traders tender. So today we're gonna look through all the offerings quickly on the trading post now, and we'll go through some of the easiest quests that you can do to finish in the Traveler's Log to easily get the bonus ensemble at the end for March. If you found value in this video, leave a like down below. It helps me out tremendously. Subscribe for more gaming content, and as always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by, or your eye color will change to a color that you hate. All right, let's check out the new offerings. They usually do have these on display around, so if you're kind of wondering what's going on this month, let's first look at what's on the trading post for purchase using the trading's tender, and then we'll look at the traveler's log for the final reward and walk through the quests as well. So first off, let's jump on this, see what we have to offer. This is going to be the first one that we have here. They have an option to hide armor and uh, you can very easily see this. This is, I believe, a recolor of the tier 17 for Paladins, uh, which is kind of like that bright pink color. They recolored this to be a little bit more regal and have the green crystals on it. Fell autom Automaton. It looks pretty cool. And then you have a back attachment, which is a treasure chove. They've been doing a lot more of these recently, and this one looks great. They also have a Glorious Dragon Riders Mail, which I believe is another offshoot of a Hunter set from uh, maybe two expansions ago, but it's got, got this nice golden recolor on top of it. This is only available for the classes shown because they have to be for that. So if you're wondering, if you look on the right side here, you have to have Plate to transmog this, and you have to have Mail to transmog this, just so you're aware. They have a Pandaren Monk for a pet. This one's super cool. Has some cool, unique animations for it as well. Frozen Shadow is a sword. It is a one-handed sword, but it looks awesome. And I believe you can also put colors on top of this. This looks really cool. And I think there's an option to uh, kind of put this together with some really unique outfits. There is a Lion's Maw shield that looks just like this. Uh, it does have this kind of uh, forward lion effect. I'm kind of a lion-y, but maybe a little more fire. Then you've got the Blade Master's Great Sword in two different colors. Very Blade Mastery, like old school Warcraft 3, Warcraft 2. You've got the uh, shadowy version, the darker version of it. And again, you can still put the effects on top of this to show this off in very many ways. You have the Pirate Hat, the Admiral's Bicorn, <laughs> the Midnight Cloak. And I think these cloaks are cool because there's so many combinations you can use to put these together with uh, in, in other transmogs. And then you have the version with the hood down if you prefer that. You also have this little bucket that you can carry. Uh, this is actually just a offhand transmog that you can use. They have this nice fancy shirt, uh, which I believe looks the same regardless of uh, gender here. Uh, and then you also have a great cloak for the Virtuous Protector. Now looking at the, the reward, last month was the, uh, the Ashadar, the, the mount that we had over here. This week is going to be a full-on transmog appearance, which is this uh, Jester, kind of Cthulhu style, uh, old God Jester with some VFX on top of it. So if you open up your Traveler's Log, you will see this as the final bonus that you can pick up as. This is going to be the bit here. So you can actually show this off. And it looks, uh, it's the same setup as it is on every character. But based on your the race that you have, it'll show differently on your body. But it is a full ensemble that will show uh, all, all, all character slots, all melee slots there. And it does cover the hands as well with this cool texture. So if you want this, all you have to do is finish out your traveler's log all the way to full. Let's talk about some really easy ways to get that done in a very short period of time. And these are all the lowest hanging fruits for the quest, but there's some really easy ones for fast if you're not going to be playing enough to get this. Uh, I've been leveling characters. I just finished my last 70. I have all classes at 70 now. Uh, so that got me most of the way there just by completing quests. But there's some really easy ones in here, like slash curtsy at a player of the opposing faction. All you have to do is walk up to a player if you're Alliance, it has to be Horde. If you're Horde, they have to be Alliance. Just do a slash curtsy to them. And you can do this in the uh, the split matchmaking as well. When you have a cross-faction uh, grouping, you can just walk up to them and do it and get a free 20 points off that. Change your appearance is also super easy. Just go to the barbershop in every major city, including Valdraken, and you can get your appearance, appearance changed. And doing this uh, will allow you to unlock this to get another free 20 points. It's very fast. You can even do this in one single sitting. It's very easy to fill out, so you can get that one done. You could also speak to a Grand Hunt trainer on the Dragon Isles to change your Grand Hunt companion's appearance. 
You only have to do this once and you're good to go. And in the same vein, you can go over to the Rostrum of Transformation and change your dragon riding mount. You've already got like almost 100 points just by doing almost no effort at all, which is super easy. If you have the overtuned Korga goggles, all you have to do is activate them and this will fill out automatically. You get this from the anniversary event. So if you have them from the last anniversary event, just activate them and you'll get free points. If you don't, then you'll just have to do an extra uh, step. Another easy one is obtain a toy that gets you looking good. This will auto complete if you own any of the toys, uh, like for example, the Countess's Parasol from Revendreth in Shadowlands. You have that automatically completed, but most of these are very easy to get. You can just look up the toy and where to get it. Some of these are about 5,000 gold off a vendor, but it's a toy that you get permanently. All you have to do is acquire it. Uh, one of these is Shattrath, one of these is in Legion, and then obviously you can get the one from Revendreth as well. And what's cool about this one is this leads very easily into another step, which is use the slash flex at another player while looking good. And all that means is that use one of these toys. If you have one of them, activate that toy, go to another player and do slash flex. And not only will you complete this for having the toy, you'll even get another 50 points just for flexing at another player. And if you see another player that's using one of these toys, you can even find a friend or someone in a group that has them. If they have the toy activated, they can you can do slash awe at that player and then get another 50 points on top of that. So even just getting one of these toys, you can easily get, uh, you're already up into the hundreds when it comes to points and the time effort uh, spectrum is very low. You can also do the looking good by getting the Onyx Glare Reducers or the craft, Craftsman's Monocle. While wearing these, you can craft items and then when you do 50 of those items while wearing it, you'll get another 50 points. You can also fish up items or fish up fish while wearing these as well, which is another 50 points on top of that. And you can also go complete the Community Feast and Feast on the Soup while you have one of these toys active. So again, just getting one of these toys and getting that monocle or the onyx goggles, you can you can almost get most of this done just by doing that. And then if you're already doing professions, that's a, another a extra bit for you as well. You also have quests and world quests. If you're going to be doing them this week anyways, this is a very easy way to get a bunch of points. Complete 30 quests if you are doing any kind of quest. Normally, if you're leveling a character or getting caught up or doing any kind of side quests or weekly quests, you'll be able to get this done quite quickly. You can also do 15 world quests, which is awesome and very easy. PvP world quest is very easy. Just get one of these done and you'll get an extra 100 points for having done that. If you happen to be doing any PvP, you can earn honor, do non-skirmish arena matches, or win uh, five battlegrounds. These may take a little bit longer, so if you're doing lots of PvP, you can definitely get a bunch of uh, points this way. But if you're looking for easy options, and you're not planning to do a lot of PvP, you might want to avoid these. If you're doing PvP world quests, you also want to look to finish the collect bloody tokens in the Dragon Isles. This one goes surprisingly fast. You can get this done just by doing uh, the war, opening the chest, doing PvP, or completing the weekly that gives you the tokens. You can get this done in, in probably under 15 minutes uh, just by doing the PvP world quest. You might even get it done at the same exact time if you're looting the chests in the same way. If you're going to be doing crafting, make sure you do 10 crafting orders or five personal orders. If you fill these, you can get up to 300 points from that. There are weekly crafting quests that you can finish as well. And you can even, uh, you know, you, if you're going to be doing these extra ones where fishing or crafting while wearing the goggles we talked about, then you can even get extra uh, there. You can even do the, the, the world quest that, that you pull up the lunkers with. You don't even need to have the world quest in order to get it done. 20 Lunkers is a little bit much, but it doesn't take too long to get all those done. If you're going to be doing the World Boss anyway, if you're still doing the World Boss, you can pop that and get 100 points on top of that, which is super easy. You can also do the Solo Dragon Races. This is 15 of them. This might take a little bit longer, but if you are going to be doing them, you'll get an extra little bit from that too. If you're just going to be doing content normally like Mythic Plus and uh, doing Raid, 25 Raid Bosses and 15 Mythic Plus Dungeons will get it done. This is for the whole month, so you kind of can passively do it if you're doing that. And then the last one I'll leave you with is a super easy one. That is Kill KT at the Magister's Terrace. This is a an old dungeon that's very easy to solo. All you have to do is go and clear the dungeon and kill Kael Thas. You can take a portal to Shatrath, go over to the dungeon, kill him, and then get 150 points for this. So across all of these, you can pretty much get this done uh, in a matter of an hour or two, or if you're just planning to do your dailies normally and your weeklies normally and your content, you'll probably end up just completing it passively, but it's up to you 
on which ones you find the easiest. If you really want this ensemble right away, and some people already have it and they're showing it off, then you can definitely pick it up in a very short period of time. That's what I've got for you today. If you have any questions or comments for me, come by my live stream right now, do it or else twitch.tv forward slash dry bear. I'll see you there. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content, link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.